Hi, this is Angela Murad at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. Just a quick video to show you a little bit more about VocoChat. And I saw the email today from Smartbox about bilingual setup, which I'd explored that in Supercore, but hadn't really jumped into that yet in VocoChat. So I thought I'd take a look. They suggested adding it under my toolkit settings and then creating a button there to change, which will that will work. And then you would do the same thing here and here and here. Um, the issue I would have with that for a lot of the kids that I've worked with is that's too many taps deep, especially when they're first learning to use AAC. So instead, I went into edit mode and because the chat window, the message window here is pretty large on VocoChat, I thought I bet there's some room there that I could use. And right here at the top right hand corner where you see that I've added Spanish, that is a button that if you're on a device that's capable of using eye gaze, it's your eye gaze rest button. Well, my iPad doesn't have eye gaze and none of the individuals that I've supported on an iPad with Grid for iPad are using eye gaze. So, I mean, I guess in theory you could set that up on an iPad, but so I'm taking that real estate of this button right here and added, I deleted the one that was there. I added the but, a button back. I'm using the command change grid set. I labeled it Spanish and I found an icon online that I liked that just said Espanol. Done. Finish editing. And boom. And then I did the same thing for English. So being able to go back to English. So the users that I supported, that would be much more usable on that home screen to toggle back and forth. Quiero jugar algo. Pelota. Quiero jugar algo, pelota. It's also important to go in here in each of the grid sets like they showed and go to your settings and set up the voice. And because they recently added Emilio and Valeria uh, USA voices, so there's a Valeria and Emilia voice both in USA English and USA Spanish. And so I have Valeria set up as my speaking voice here. So you can see that that's Spanish. So I've got that created. And then this maintains the message window whenever I toggle over to English. I'm gonna go over here and show you in the settings here that I have done the same, but now you can tell I'm in English and I have Valeria set there. So it's essentially almost identical voice, but one's in English with a slight Spanish accent and the other is in Spanish. And so if I wanted to say the same thing I want here, to play something well. I want to play something well. Now the only thing that hasn't evolved yet is I am hoping eventually it will be po possible to do what's known as true code switching where you could start an utterance in one language and voice, toggle over and finish it or add something from another language and voice, and when it's spoken, have it spoken in a combined way. So the English part would be spoken in English with the English voice and the Spanish part would be spoken in Spanish with the Spanish voice. That's possible in a couple of other apps um, it's not possible here, but at least a few updates back, they added this option of maintaining the message window. So you can at least go back and forth and you don't lose the contents. So I want to play something well. If I want to say in Spanish, it's still over there. Quiero jugar algo, pelota. And so if I wanted to clear it, I need to clear it in both of those. Anyway, um, one of the other things I wanted to show you that I really like about VocoChat and exploring it quite a bit is uh, another option for 
pragmatic organization. Um, so maybe you're exploring options and you've tried pod and maybe it wasn't really seeming to be the greatest fit. This is another option and this grid set is actually included with grid for iPad and with grid three. So you're not having to make an extra purchase. So it's definitely worth taking a look at. So this toolkit here, I really like these. I'm talking to myself. I am safe. So being able to have vocabulary related to affirmation. Calming down. Calming and self-regulation. I'm not okay. Being able to talk about when something's not okay. So talking about like child mental health type issues. Um, being able Can to I give, give you a clue? Clues. I'll read it. You have scales here. Just really neat content. Very unique. And then you can even go over to apps like that. So I'm going to go back to home. And then that same identical content, if I wanted, I can go over into Spanish. Go up to the star. Hablar conmigo mismo. Estoy a salvo. Hablar conmigo mismo. Estoy a salvo. And that was pretty fast. Let's see. Let me go into settings. And if I needed to adjust some things here, I could. Let's slow that down a bit and see what happens. Hablar conmigo mismo estoy a salvo. A little bit better. So, anyway, uh, main point being a quick way to toggle back and forth between different languages. I've also done this over on Supercore. Now, in Supercore, you don't have any really extra real estate up by your message window. And so I'm gone under magic wand and added it there. And same concept, I took the button where you normally would have an eye gaze rest button and am taking that. And so that's what I've done. Spanish. And then in the same spot, English. So this is best suited if for bilingual use. Uh, there are grid sets where you have the identical content across multiple languages. So super core, they're rapidly rolling out lots of language options for VocoChat um, are kind of the main ones I've tried out so far. Uh, you could also use it though because I've seen some folks be concerned that well VocoChat isn't robust enough. You could link VocoChat to Supercore. You could link VocoChat if you owned Pod. You could link VocoChat to WordPower. That's the beauty of Grid for iPad or Grid 3 is, and that's one reason whenever folks ask why it's more expensive, this is why. <laughs> you get so much and then you can even look for more out in their online grids area where people have uh, shared even more things. Um, anyway, you can link any grids either for bilingual use or for being able to toggle back and forth between grid sets. Anyway, I hope this helps to give you some new ideas for Grid for iPad.